Hello, welcome to Breakthroughs from Science Mission. I am Sadashiva Pai and going to discuss a couple of breakthrough papers published in the week of August 11th. Let's start. First, we will discuss a paper published by Johanna and colleagues in Cell Reports that indicates an insignificant role for stem cells in the regeneration of hepatocytes during liver injury. Why is this paper so important? Liver stem cells are thought to replenish lost hepatocytes during chronic liver injury. There are conflicting reports available on the contribution of LSCs to liver regeneration. Authors failed to detect hepatocytes that were not derived from pre-existing hepatocytes in chronic liver injury. This paper concludes that stem cells may not play any role during chronic liver injury. Let's look at the data. One week after genetically labeling hepatocytes, authors started feeding mice the choline deficient ethionine supplemented CDE diet to induce chronic liver injury for up to three weeks. Co-immunostaining for EYFP and HNF4 alpha indicated very small number of EYFP negative hepatocytes and quantitation revealed non-fate traced hepatocytes at a frequency of less than 1%. Authors looked into if liver stem cells are capable of giving rise to hepatocytes that reside in biliary structures. They used a different fate tracing model as shown here. Injured liver showed a negligible frequency fate traced hepatocyte identified by immunostaining for major urinary protein MAP specific for hepatocytes. Recovery after injury also did not increase in the frequency fate traced hepatocytes. Next, to assess contribution of mesenchymal cells to hepatocytes regeneration, a new mouse model was generated using platelet-derived growth factor receptor beta. Immunostaining for the mesenchymal cell markers desmin or the hepatocyte markers MAP showed negligible fate-traced hepatocyte numbers in both injured and non-injured livers. Authors repeated hepatocyte fate tracing with a mouse model that can be analyzed by direct fluorescence and immunostaining for hepatocytes using MAP. Authors found non-fate traced hepatocytes detected before and after CDE diet feeding are not newly generated by non-hepatocyte source but are pre-existing hepatocytes that were not labeled. Quantitations also showed same results. These results clearly demonstrate that new hepatocytes are not formed from stem cells after liver injury. Next, let's look into a paper published by Jessica and colleagues in Nature Materials. Authors demonstrate that matrix stiffness but no other parameters are important for stem cell differentiation. Why is this paper so important? Robust stem cell in vitro proliferation and differentiation is crucial for stem cell therapeutics. ECM parameters regulating stem cell growth and differentiated differentiation are not clearly understood. Authors demonstrate ECM porosity and tethering may not be important for stem cell differentiation. They also show that matrix stiffness might play a crucial role in stem cell differentiation. Authors developed four 13 and 30 kilopascal KPA extracellular matrix with the different porosities using acrylamide and bisacrylamide that correspond stiffness of adipose tissue, muscle, and osteoid respectively. Authors tested adipogenic differentiation as assessed by oil red O presence and found differentiation in over 40% of the cells on all four KPA substrates, regardless of hydrogel formulation and was directly dependent on substrate stiffness as 30 kPa substrates were negative indicating the differentiation dependent on the stiffness rather than porosity. Next to understand the role of protein tethering authors directly incorporated various amounts of RGD a short cell adhesive peptide from fibronectin into polyacrylamide backbone to make the same gel fitness 
stiffness of 4, 13 and 30 kilopascals. A hydroxycumer in diconjugated acrylated PEG RGD confirmed that the peptide was incorporated in a dose-dependent manner. SEM images of dried hydrogels showed similar pore sizes regardless of the concentration of acrylated PEG RGD incorporated within each substrate. Cells underwent osteogenic differentiation on 30 kPa hydrogels independently of RGD concentration, indicating tethering may not have much role to play in the differentiation. To understand the role of stiffness on differentiation, authors used polyacrylamide PEG RGD hydrogels in the absence of protein tethers. As shown here, PDMS substrates that are stiffer than 30 kPa also did not alter osteogenic differentiation. Authors did several other experiments to confirm the role of stiffness in cellular differentiation. Thank you for watching Science Breakthroughs from Science.